Hey everybody, this is Dragon with Gardening Gaze, and today we're doing a little video on how to harvest uh, cabbage seeds. Cabbage, kale, uh, I haven't done broccoli seeds, but cabbage and kale I've done in the past. So right here in front of us, uh, if you've seen them in our previous videos, we have three bushes of cabbage seeds. So if you can pan around for a second, Kevin, we have a cabbage plant right behind you here. So this is a very young cabbage that just started forming the head. So you would basically save this plant and let it grow the entire season. And following spring, that head would open up and this will come out, out of that head. So that's what we did in the last fall, the last two seasons. Uh, we used ornamental kale and cabbage to decorate our uh, front flower bed and our planters upstairs on our deck. So I saved at the end of the season in, I believe, uh, February, end of February we did. Uh, I saved three that were looking the best. We have a red ornamental uh, kale, we have a white cabbage, and we have a pink cabbage. Uh, these here kind of these three here kind of even though they were planted at the same time they blossomed in three separate times and that's why we're gonna have to collect them in three separate occasions so if you can uh, zoom in kevin here for a second so this here if you can see it this one has a darkest green this one is going to be collected last out of all three of them next stage from that this green is going to start fading and it kind of starts looking like this so this one is about a week or 10 days behind the last one. And the last one, which is ready to be harvested, is when you can see the bottom of the plant completely is kind of dried out. It got rid of all its leaves. Unlike this one, it still has the leaves on, but it's slowly getting rid of them. But this one completely, all the leaves are uh, gone and it's pretty much ready to be harvested. Uh, typically, I would just pull out this entire plant out. Why am I not doing this? If you can, can you show them right here. We planted some uh, corn uh, less than a week ago. It's already nicely popping out. So I'm just gonna cut this plant off and take it to the garage, hang it, and let it dry. Probably needs a couple of weeks definitely to dry. So these um, pods, I guess, for lack of better words, will be a lot, once they dry out, they're a lot easier to pop. But they have these little seeds inside. There they are. And that's their full size. And we are planning on planting these some, sometime mid, mid August for our uh, fall season this year. So let's cut this off. I'm using just a regular garden shears. I'll just cut it down at the base. Should be a quite easy cut. See, it's completely dry. So that plant is completely done for this year. So this I'm just gonna hang, so I find a place in the garage, hang it upside down, and just simply let it dry. In the next couple of weeks, we're gonna harvest these two. Once everything is dried out, we're gonna do another video on how actually to collect the seeds, break out these little shells and how to collect these seeds out of, out of each shell. So, all right, now it's been uh, about two weeks since we collected the last blossoms of, or seeds, I guess, of the ornamental cabbage and kale that we had planted that we saved from our uh, fall and winter season, planted them in our garden this, this spring and collected the seeds. So now uh, they dried in the garage for a couple of weeks. One of them, first one we collected about four weeks ago, the last one about two weeks ago, but they're all now dry and ready for seed extraction. So what are we trying to do? It's basically break out each one of these seed pods and they're, when, once they're dry they'll literally pop out open. 
you do want to do this. So I tried this. We had a couple of raining days last couple of days. And even though it was in the garage, I tried to break them out. All the moisture in the air, it was not letting me break them easy. So what do you, and now you can see literally they're just falling apart by itself. I did this earlier, if you can show them, Kevin, just with a couple of branches from this, this one. And this is uh, hundreds, if not thousands of seeds. So I think we're going to be pretty good on the seeds for for ornamental cabbage and kale for a while. So you can do this in a plastic bag or you can do it in, in a, a deep pot like this. So what I'm going to do basically is literally just squash, squash all of them and you can see how seeds are just literally popping out of them. If you left any of them, even if you do, you can see that there is just plenty, plenty of seeds underneath. I think we're definitely going to be good on seeds for the next couple of years. Just make sure they're all extracted. So we have three different ones. This is uh, pink. It has a white outer layer and the center of it is pink. You can just clean these probably in a shallower dish, but that's about it. You can safely say that there's at least 500 to 1,000 seeds there. So this, this one here was uh, red, and this one really grew huge. So I'm gonna just chop off a couple of these branches to make it a little bit easier. easily easier manageable like this and we're gonna do the whole process all over again they are literally just falling out of it so usually when you buy these seeds you can buy cabbage, already grown cabbage, mid-September, late September, and they're usually between five and seven, eight dollars a piece. Or if you buy seeds, you will pay probably at least 10 bucks for, for 50 or 100 seeds. So if you wanted three different colors, you would pay $30, you would say, well, that's not much. Well, it is. You still have to grow them, but this way, why not do this when you can get seeds for free? And it's early enough in the season that you can do it. It doesn't really take much space in your garden to do it. All this came from, what, three, three heads? Three, three heads, yep. Three different colors. And you can do this literally, so regular cabbage 
it is literally exactly the same. It looks exactly the same. Same thing with kale. Kale will blossom the same. I have not done broccoli. Broccoli blooms a little bit different. I have never done broccoli, so I can't speak on that. But most of the cabbage that has this bean-like shell, it's pretty much like this. And like I said earlier, we'll probably start these seeds the next month or so for this season, for this fall. We Last year we had this cabbage up in the front yard and up here on these deck planters and it looked really, really good. Cabbage is one of those plants that loves cold weather and frost doesn't kill it. So you can plant it and actually this cabbage color of it intensifies this, especially this red one gets this really really intense red as temperature gets colder and colder so gonna finish this off All right, now that we have extracted most of the seeds uh, and gotten rid of uh, most of the dry debris, I left some. It's good to leave it to some dry debris to store it with your seeds. It will keep them nice and dry. You're going to keep them in a nice Ziploc bag so no moisture or uh, cannot uh, get in contact with them. Uh, and that's about it. Mark the seeds, what, what they are. This is our uh, pink ornamental cabbage. and. Enjoy your seedlings for, for upcoming seasons. Thank you again for watching this video with us. Uh, please comment below if you have any suggestions. And uh, if you liked it, subscribe to our channel and uh, hit that uh, notification button so you can get notifications for some of our, our future videos. Thank you.